side with the latest on that investigation for us, Sean. Yeah, this crash happened around 7 o'clock last night at South Union and West Route. As you said, Chicago police continue to look for those responsible for the critical injuries to that 20-year-old man and 18-year-old Maisha Jackson. A warning, the video you're about to see may be disturbing for some. I'm just here. The pain. I can't even wrap my head around this all the way. Unimaginable. That's it, unreal to me. Baina Atkins lost her only daughter less than 24 hours ago. Not my issue. I never thought of that at all. Maisha Jackson, just 18, inside a 2002 Saturn when Chicago police say shots were fired. I don't know how I feel right now. I don't know what to feel right now. This police pod camera catching the moment of impact into a brick building. Seconds later, a 2014 Nissan Altima pulls up and more shots are fired. Both Maisha and a 20-year-old man inside were hit. The chaos captured on Facebook Live when the service group Exxon for Community and Social Change, which works to prevent violence like this, administered CPR and first aid before paramedics got to the scene. Our team uh, immediately uh, started putting pressure on the wounds of those individuals and keeping them stabilized while, um, while, people, while we waited on the ambulance and the police to arrive. Maisha, shot several times, began to lose consciousness. Just encourage her to live, breathe, stay breathe, stay here with us, stay with stay us. Here. Stay here. She was just fighting for her little life. The small blessing is that she wasn't alone. Yeah. We, we was with her, so that was um, a small consolation, I guess. A consolation for Maisha's mom. I never I'd be, thought I'd be sitting here like this, you know. We all got to go someday, but not like that. She's just 18 years old. She's a baby. She's a baby. I would have took her spot at any given moment. And I appreciate everybody that calls, texts, everything. I appreciate you guys so much for trying to help my baby. <laughs> Her mom tells me that Maisha was going to be following in her footsteps by going to nursing school after she graduated from high school in June. If you have any information about this shooting again yesterday night around 7 p.m., call Chicago Police. We are live on the South Side tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News. All right, Sean, thank you.